Hey, it's Warren Hewitt here. Hope you're doing marvelously well. Now, a few weeks ago, we tried out for the first time a software called Stagelight. Now, Stagelight have created it now as a DAW inside of um, Apple products. And that's great for guys like me and you if you use Apples. Um, now, they've had this available on Android now for a long time, and I know a lot of people have been building Beats in it. Most famously, of course, Linkin Park, for those of you that follow Linkin Park. But for a guy like me, who's used to using, frankly, um, apps like iMachine and stuff on my iPhone and my iPad, which has been very useful, I'll be honest. I've been on planes building Beats and putting in earbuds. That's great, but there's always there was always an issue with me with frankly, transferring the files. So they've done one of two things. They've improved the transferability in Stagelight now. So now I've got a much more direct way of removing the audio that I create and putting it into another DAW for mixing. But I think the other thing that's really great is that they're making this now its own standalone DAW, which makes life even easier for me because I can use it on my, on my, my pad or I can use my tablet or I can use it in a DAW format here on my Apple Computer. So I've got my MacBook Air open here. I've got Audience New ID4, which they very kindly have given us, and we're going to give away in a raffle, so stay tuned for that. And I've got my little Akai MPK Mini. So I'm kind of ready to rock. I've opened up a session here, um, just hit New Song, and we're going to create some beats and have some fun. Okay, so first things first, let's call this song something. What should we call it? We'll call it uh, New Idea. <laughs> How about that? Or what about um, hmm, Plap? Produce like a pro, New Idea. There you go. Aren't I really, really radical there? Oh, now, a couple of things. If we go up to the default here, we can choose what drums we want. Um, uh, let's have some fun. Put on my headphones. <laughs> I don't think I want to do anything Latin at the moment, but it's nice to have it. Um, wow, we've got tons of stuff. Okay, classic 808. Oh, I like that. So I'm triggering all this from my Akai, but of course I can just play it from here, which actually is probably quicker, because obviously I can read the uh, the name. Oh, that's nice. Wow, so for 808s, I'm pretty covered. I can see how many, that is a lot of 808s. Wow. I love the decay on that, I've got to hear that again. The laser 808. That's awesome. It's like boom. Okay. All right, see, I'm just a big kid. Isn't this what we all do when we're, we, we do music? We just, we just turn into big kids. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Now, um, a couple of things which are really, really good. So we can call this, um, we'll call this my 808 kit. So I'm naming my drum beat here 808 kit. Okay, so we're going to select here um, tempo. Hmm. I mean, 120 is like the most obvious tempo that defaults to. I'm actually going to stay there for shits and sniggles. Okay, um, so the metronome is preset to um, only play on record, which is nice. Um, pre-roll is on, so there's one bar of standard pre-roll on that, so that's useful. Obviously, I've got a volume control here, so I can adjust my click how I want it to be. Now, for a dumb guitar player like me, I can go here and I can select key lock. Now, you might go, why would that be good? Well, I'm a, those of you who have seen me play keyboards in the past will know that I'm a uh, C minus keyboard player. I'm basically a guitar player that plays bass and drums and keyboards, kind of in that order. So, you know, stringed instruments I'm okay with, but the, the closer I get to keyboards, the worse I get. So this is good, because if we do my usual write a song kind of thing, which we're going to do using our audience with this, with Stage Light as our DAW, what I'd like to do is like, I don't know, let's pick a, let's pick a G 
generic chord sequence, like a 6415. If we go to A, which again is very generic, we can go uh, key lock on. So it will mean, at the moment it's not important because, um, you know, we're only doing drum beats, but when I come to the keyboards, it's going to really help me out because if I accidentally hit, you know, play an A major chord and I hit a G, that's not going to play in the key of A because in the key of A, that would be a G sharp. So it means that a, a fat fingers like mine on a little tiny Akai MPK keyboard here, it's gonna make my life a lot easier. Now for you, those of you that are great keyboard players, which is probably most of you, you may not care so much about that function, um, especially if you wanna suddenly, you know, modulate and, you know, go to a G major in an A chord sequence, which of course would be kind of nice on a, I don't know, on a setting up a pre-chorus or a bridge or something like that. Um, but for a guy like me, it makes it simple, and when it comes to working quickly and creatively, I like anything that makes my life easier. So there you go. So I set it key lock on and key of A, and I'm staying in major. Now, obviously, as I said, not that big of a deal at the moment on the drums, but on the setup of my song, hey, why not? So we're done. Okay, so let's see our sounds. Um, I'm going to keep the swing function off. Um, it might be fun to try it out on certain grooves, but we'll keep it off for the time being. pig's ear of that snare, so I don't like it. I thought, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do, so I can literally just put it in where I want here. about playing stuff using MIDI, USB obviously, but is the fact that every time I make a mistake, it makes me think of something different that I never would have come up with. Like I love this, because that was my fat fingers accidentally hitting it. So I accidentally hit that key, but I kind of like it. So I can just draw those in. If I do a change, it takes a couple of bars for it to figure out what's going on. This doesn't, it's immediate. Notice when I press space bar, if I just press it once, it will go to the end of the bar. If I double do it, it stops where it is, which is actually kind of a nice feature. One of the things I like about, um, you know, DAWs, which in, that happened in the early 2000s, is where when you press the space bar, it let the decay of the reverb carry on. Believe it or not, in the mid 90s when I first started using Pro Tools, it didn't do that. So it was kind of weird. You'd be like, You'd stop it and it'd be like, the whole track would, would stop. So any simple functions are, are actually good. So I can play the whole bar. And then I can 
double click and stop where I'm at, or I can just hit the click once and play through the bar. So nice, nice simple feature, but you're going to appreciate it when you're working with an artist. There's nothing more disconcerting, especially when you're a singer, to have somebody kind of pull, stop the track underneath you. I've done this so many times of assistants um, and engineers that will work for me, telling them it doesn't matter if the singer makes, makes a mistake, let them finish the phrase. Because if you're in the middle of la and you go sharp and somebody stops you, it makes you, it really is not a good feeling. So um, even if you accidentally hit the space bar, it's going to go through to the end of the bar. Kind of nice. All right. So what I've done here is I've created like a little, you know, hip hop -y 808 kind of beat. But I want to, and I'm going to paste this a whole bunch so I can write over the top of it. But I'm also going to put a rock beat against it, which will have like a traditional hi-hat, which will drive it along as well. So we're going to close out of this. Okay, cool. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to go up to this little arrow button on the top right here, and I'm going to hit copy. Now I'm going to go to my I button here, and I'm going to hit show timeline. I'm going to select where I want it to be. See if it all comes up and paste. Now this is the bit I like. Look at that. For an idiot guitar player like me, oh, look how easy that was. One of the things that, and I'm not knocking Pro Tools because I've used Pro Tools for, year, for years, is that you have to do option R. If you hit duplicate, it knocks it out like a couple of samples, and by the end, by the time you get to the end of it, it's actually drifted. <laughs> so I like anything that's really, really dumb. I know a lot of DAWs do this, but like I say, as a, as a dumb guitar player, I like anything that makes my life easier. Okay, so now I'm gonna create a new track, and I'm gonna go back to drum track. So I'm gonna double click right, here. Now. I'm gonna double click it to, ah, and there it is, the empty panel. So I'm gonna, Let's just title this uh, Rock Kit. And now let's go searching for a Rock Kit. Okay, so now we've selected the Rock Kit. Let's, uh, let's investigate a little bit more. I like that. The snare's a little dull for me. Let's see what the studio one's like. There you go. See, I'm flaming all over the place when I'm playing there, so let's try it. Cool. So let's... Uh... Great. to the beginning of the beat. Cool. Let's have a listen to that. Go back to the beginning. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this loop here so I can select how long I want to loop it while I'm writing my new rock drum part. So let's go back here. So back to the uh, drums. I've got the studio drums. Just good old-fashioned rock drum part. And even though it's in the timeline view, I'm just looping that section. Let's add some hats. There it is. Good old fashioned rock and roll. Okay. And I can do that same thing again. Oh, I just love that. How easy that is. I know all you guys that use other DAWs are probably laughing at me because I'm moving from Pro Tools to this, but it's awesome. Okay, so now... Cool, so if I come out of this loop mode here, I'll play the whole thing as a song. 
great. Okay, so let's do some keyboards. All right, cool. So I'm going to create a new track. I'm going to go to instrument here. Now, this is cool. We're going to go to some synth sounds here. Let us... Eh, I want to get something crazy. The mini mono. Doesn't stack too well because it's mono. So let's uh, let's keep going. I'm just, we've got so many things to cho choose from here. So let's see how quickly we can find something we love. Doctor What? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm assuming that's Doctor Who. <laughs> I'm going to use it because it's so wrong. I love it. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so what I do is I'm going to go to my Dr. Watt sound down here. And I'm going to add. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's kind of cool. basic uh, uh, pattern. That's all I needed. So we double tap the loop that I just created. You see here, I enable this loop function here, and then I can just do that same thing. I can also go up to here and do duplicate. Yeah, I just keep doing it as well. So either works. Let's just do a whole bunch of those. Cool. Okay, great. So I'm going to do another synth. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go to another synth here. Let's, uh, let's get a little crazy. Let's have a look what they got. I think I just want to find... What's the pulse? It's uh, swelly. <laughs> uh, plucky. I feel like I'm writing uh, 19, late 70s, early 80s children's TV show themes with these sounds. It's pretty fun. <laughs> Listening to all of these different. Choose that, so I'm gonna put add. Okay, so I selected up here, and if I close and have a look, it's selecting this section up here, so it's a two bar pattern. So let's go back. Great. What I love is that, that infinite sustain. <laughs> I don't need a sustain pedal on it, does everything I want with that delay effect and everything, it's awesome. Okay, great. So I've selected the four bar pattern. Um, let's double click on the synth. Going to record. It is. So 
let's go up here and we can do our duplicate, 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 duplicate. The sounds are awesome for a guitar player brain. The only thing I wanted to do was uh, do a little mixing here. So my full mixer is down here. Let's just click on that. Let's press play. This is kind of what I want to hear. Because the 808 has a tone, I don't want it to be the most dominant. As I love that insane metro that you put in, looking dominant. So that's cool, that's a cool, fun group. Cool. Okay, so let's do some organic instruments. Okay, so we're going to create a new instrument, um, audio track. We're going to do some bass. So um, we're going to go over here where it's selected. I'm going to click up on here and allow input monitor. I think on this audio in here, it looks like it's got mic gain must be one, DI must be two, so it looks like it's defaulting to two. That's our, that's what we deduced. Okay, let's just... Got this kind of 80s -y kind of 808 thing so as you can tell I'm being all Peter Hook about it um, so why don't I just I'm gonna get like four times a normal so I can have some fun with this so I've selected like that loop of four I'm gonna go into record So now we've got this loop here, which is... So that's pretty awesome. I can go up to here and just do duplicate, say twice. Come out of the loop mode, I'll just do this. And now it's playing. It's so I'm having a lot of fun with this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna mic up an amp. I'm gonna mic up an amp and record it through here and do a little guitar part. And I'm going to let this roll a lot longer than we did just so I can try a lot of different ideas. It'll be a lot of fun. OK, so we're going to create a new audio track. It defaulted to one, which happens to be... Well, the mic's coming in, so that's good. i got my mic gain here. I'm adjusting. Nice. So... Just for schnitz and schniggles, I'm going to go in here and do some quick nomenclature work. 
space. Go here. Call this elec one. Okay, I'm gonna have some fun with this. Okay, so we'll go up here and enable monitor input. All right, so let's uh, let's try this. Okay. Um, okay, so select our audio here. Let's go here, enable our loop function. Let's zoom out. Oh, there you go. It's looped on those bars, so that's nice. So that means I should be able to go. Oh, yeah. Yay. Right, let's do a whole bunch. All right. <laughs> So, okay, let's zoom out here. Let's go create a loop. Let's snap that to, there it is. Now let's stretch that out. That's <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to create a new track here. I'm going to go here and rename it and call it, guess what, ELEC2. So I'll create a new track. It's panned over to the right here. I'm going to record. Loop, zoom out, select our loop, like so, close, and Bob's your uncle. Okay, great. Just for schniggles, let's do a couple, let's do an overdub. So now we've got a stereo guitar. Let's do, go up here, rename, elect three. <laughs> Moving rapidly now. Starting to get the hang of this. Select here. There you go. Okay, great. So now we're looping. Okay, I'm just gonna have fun because I can because I'm a guitar player and I do silliness. So I'm gonna do one more here. I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna do rename. I'm gonna do a lick. Four, and I'm just going to make it up as we go. Uh, I've got some delay, I've got my fuzz. Okay, some insanity. some silliness. Could have put a, a couple of silly effects on that to go on completely crazy, but maybe we can do that after the fact. Okay, so now let's loop that. 
Let's click down here to our mixer and take that last guitar and bring it down a little bit. And also, getting out of my mixer a second, I'm going to... Um, oh, yeah. All right, so let's have some fun with this. Let's have a listen. Very cool. So, that was a lot of fun. Um, you know, I suppose for me, it's it's pretty intuitive. Um, once I figured out, like, how to copy and paste, like, the guitar stuff and everything, it was really, really easy. I think, you know, it just comes down to my own ability to be able to move quickly through ideas. But um, didn't even really scratch the surface on plugins. I think that we should do that next time. I'll do another video and I'll do some mixing ideas and try some different things. But it's a lot of fun, and you know what's great about it is it's free. That's why I'm talking about it. I love it because it's free. You can choose to upgrade plugins, or you can just use the free stuff that comes with it, and a lot of great stuff is free. So, as ever, please subscribe. Go to producelikeapro.com, sign up for the email list, and down below is a link to download this for free and try it out. When you get to try out Stage Life, build some songs and let's hear them. I'd love to know what you're doing. Thank you ever so much for watching. You guys rock and have a marvellous time recording and mixing.